everyone, Arlen here. Welcome back to my Country Craft Corner. How in the world are you guys doing today? It is so good to see you again and thank you so, so much for stopping back by to see what I'm up to. And what I'm up to today is a, another shopping haul. <laughs> uh, and remember, I was gonna do the powder room before I did this haul, but then I thought, no, I wanna show you what I'm gonna put into the powder room and then we'll do the powder room. So we're doing a haul today, but it's not only going to cover what I'm going to be using in the powder room, it's also going to be covering what I'm going to be utilizing to make a new burlap wreath for burlap and deco mesh, both combined wreath for the front, the back of the front door here. Uh, I doubt that I am going to be able to do both projects this week. I think uh, we're gonna have this video and then we'll have the powder room on Thursday. And then after that, I'm going to be taking a couple of weeks off of my YouTube to help our daughter, Candace, and Dustin and little Mr. Maverick. So please know that I'll be back as soon as I can and I will share pictures on my Facebook group. If you're not in that and you wanna join, please feel free to join. And if I can remember, I'll put something in the community post here on YouTube as well. So, uh, but no, we're fine. Everything's fine and dandy. It's just that I need to take some time off because my family is my priority and that it needs to be my priority <laughs> to help Candace. So, and Dustin, to help Candace and Dustin and Lil Maverick. So let's get started on this haul though. I've got a good many things to haul for you. Again, I've been kind of hoarding a few things and waiting for them to come with Amazon, you know, from Amazon. The bulk of this uh, haul is, well, let me tell you where, where everything is from. I've got pit berries from the pitberrybarn.com. I've got a haul from Hobby Lobby. I've got a haul from craftoutlet.com. And I've got uh, two very special gifts to show you. So let so, me get started showing you stuff. Uh, I think I'll start first with craftoutlet.com and I'll show you uh, what I have uh, from there. And I had to order from there, I tried to order from Amazon, but I just couldn't find what I needed through Amazon for this wreath. I'm pretty picky with my wreaths and picky, picky, pretty <laughs> picky picky pretty picky with what I choose to put on my wreaths so also too I couldn't find a work wreath like this this is a very a pretty large work wreath uh, from craftoutlet.com now it doesn't have the big fat chenille ties on it I couldn't find any of those but we're gonna go make it out of this uh, work wreath and it was you know what, I don't know how much it is. Please, uh, I'll either flash up the prices here or check the description for links, and I will link whatever I can. So let me show you what else I got from Craft Outlet. Okay, this, I'm going to make it out of blue. Look at this pretty, it's almost like a cobalt blue uh, deco mesh wreath. And I'm gonna be using the D. Stevens blue ribbon. I'll put a picture of it, one of the bows I made out of that up here in the corner and that is the it's going to be a funky bow probably made out of that and something else i'm going to show you or just out of that i'm not sure if i'm going to mix it with this or not but i've got two two rolls of this deco mesh and this is 20 21 by 10 yards let me make sure on that yes 21 inches wide this way by 10 yards long so this is super pretty so i'm going to do two rows of this and then i got myself some poly burlap mesh so this is like a combination of burlap and po and deco mesh you know and this is 10 inches by 10 yards and i'm going to put a row on top of this blue of the white so i've got two of these I don't, right now, I don't have a sign to put on it, so I'm not exactly sure if I'm gonna put a sign on it, but right now I don't have one. I do have these cute little cardinal, well, bluebirds, <laughs> or blue cardinals. They kind of look like a cardinal in the face, but they're bluebirds. So I've got two of these 
little dudes. And I've got four cups of cotton. Can you see this wreath right here? Now the, the front door is right, right there, you know? So I don't think we can see the, there we go, you can see the wreath. There's, I'm gonna replace that wreath with this one. And you can see this wreath is done in cotton. I got that uh, from Hobby Lobby and I just wrapped a lamb's ear garland around that too. So I got myself four tufts of cotton and I will be putting these, you know, end for end. And this will become the base of the swag that I make to put onto the wreath. So I've got four of these. They're big and flouncy too. Let me take the plastic off of one of these to show Look you. how big and full these are. They're super nice. So four of these, and then I did get, I can reach it here, some of this window pane ribbon. If we can't, there we go. See that? And I may mix that in with the with the other blue and white ribbon. I'll have to, I'll cut it and I'll see if I can put them together and see what kind of bow that makes. But I have a feeling that would make a really pretty bow if I could get it to work. And it also matches the kind of the window pane look of this or basket weave, if you will, of this. So that is what I have purchased from craftoutlet.com. Now I do have a couple of other things here that I'll show you when we get to the Amazon store that I might add into this too. I will say that I take a little bit longer to figure out what I want to do with my wreaths, you know, because they hang there for a long time. So, you know, I want them to be, I want them to be. That is all I got from craftoutlet.com though. So there we go. Uh, and it came in pretty good time too, by the way. They're shipping, everybody's shipping is getting better and better and better. Amazon is pretty quick now. They're, I don't want to say back to how they were before COVID hit, but they're getting pretty close. They're they're much better with their shipping now, I think, as they get their employees back to work or yeah. whatever. You know, you so. probably can't tell this by looking at this wreath from here, but that wreath has a round uh, piece of metal in it, and I'm going to do the same with this. This is going to become the center of the wreath, and then the blue and white will be around it. So that is on a, the back of the door is white. So I wanted something to pop, you know, from the door in the middle. So of course it's hard to see, but that's why I picked this up because I'd had that idea and I've done this to several of the wreaths that I've made, several of my burlap wreaths and I really give it just that little extra something, something, you know, just a little Arlen touch, you know, with it that maybe, you know, I, that, that, is kind of my idea <laughs> you know <laughs> i just so, got some florals to go in with this wreath probably i just got some white some of these and that might get put in with the bow you know and then out in the swag two different whites here because i've got some blue when we get to the amazon store i'll show you those but i picked up some two of these and each of these was half price 11.99 half price off so six dollars for that sorry and uh six dollars for these two or three dollars for these so i paid six for each of these and three for each of these i've got three of these and two of these so they will go in with the wreath as well i'm going to want to redo my um mailbox after the fourth of july i don't want to keep it at the patriot as the patriotic after that or mid july around mid july probably and i do have a uh mailbox cover that literally is just that looks just about like this and so I had had a, uh, I might have one of these out in the garage already that I had in there last year but I thought I would buy new because they were on sale and I wanted them so I bought two of these to to work with the mailbox probably or I may set them out on the front porch too but I did get two of those $9.99 half price so five dollars a piece for those so pretty, such pretty colors in those. So 
I got those, and then one other thing I got, I, well, I got a couple, about three other things here, but this I just couldn't resist. I just thought he was so cute. I walked by and I went, oh, look, it's a fox. <laughs> so he's gonna go up, he's glass, so he's gonna go up on that orange shelf, you know, up in the Maverick's Corner Nursery Room, the happy room. <laughs> and he's cute. So, and he matches like the other foxes, the feel of the other foxes, he matches them perfectly. I'm telling you, these companies get together and they, they, you know, work out all this stuff. So he is super cute though. Very, very, very cute. And then I got, I've just found this. This is just a tea towel and it's blessed. And I don't know how much it is I took the tag off of it. So I don't know, but I got it from Hobby Lobby. I don't know where I'm gonna use this. I may use it in the powder room or I may use it somewhere else when I switch out my decor. I did not have a specific, this is about the only thing I bought these two things that didn't I didn't have a specific thought as to where they would go but you know I'll incorporate them I just saw this in passing and it was 50% off and I loved it I thought it was pretty so so now let's head to the pitberrybarn.com you know again the pitberry barn is my go-to place to get my pitberry garlands I absolutely love them. I highly recommend them. They always do very well with their shipping. Their customer service is unsurpassed and their product is unsurpassed. So I just ordered two blue and white or blue and cream. I think they're called blue and cream mixed berry garlands from them. Let me show you the mixed berry garland. These are big and huge and lovely, you guys. And like you do with, you know, like I'm always saying with your ribbons, you know, or with your bows, always take time to fluff out your pit berries. Look at that. Look, you know, it was all smushed in the bag when it came, but look how pretty this is. This is the same pit berry garlands that I have going up and down the, stair the staircase in the family room. Uh, and I'm going to use this. I'm going to put the blue and white around that wreath that I'm making, and then I'm going to snug one of these pitberry garlands around, or I bought two just in case I needed more than one, but it's going to go all the way around that wreath as well. So that's why I bought these pitberry garlands. This wreath, and I'm gonna be straight up and honest, I mean, these were I think $27 a piece, something like that. I'm just gonna be right up front, honest. Now that, that wreath that I have there has been hanging there for literally almost seven years, you guys. We'll be in this house for seven years in October, or in November, right around Thanksgiving. And that was the first indoor wreath that I made for this house. So it's been hanging there for a long, long time. So when I make a wreath like that, of that size, I want it to be a substantial wreath that is going to last me a long time. So for me making this wreath, it's probably gonna cost me I mean, just if I just only use one of these garlands, and that's $27 right there. I would say it's gonna cost me every bit of $70 to make that wreath, you guys, probably. I can add it up for you. So, uh, you know, I know that my wreaths are not necessarily for the faint of heart, <laughs> and there are ways you could probably make them cheaper, but I, I wanna make a nice wreath for there. And so I'm not gonna skimp because it might be cheaper. You know, I want it to be nice and substantial and I wanna use good products. So that's why I went ahead and ordered from craftoutlet.com. Their, their quality is unsurpassed too in most things. And then the Pitberry Garlands are superb, superb. So I just wanted to kind of explain that too. I so, all right, so that's everything I got from the Pitberry Barn. I just literally just got two mixed berry garlands. So let's, I have two gifts here I wanna show you, one for me and one for Chris. <laughs> I wanna show you that at the end. But let's go through Amazon here. Everything that I am going to tell you about here moving forward will be in my Amazon shop. They are linked in my Amazon shop as we speak. Also, every single thing that I linked was available when I linked it, so. Okay, I'm changing my my powder room over to the blue and white cottage decor kind of as you see in these in these rooms here i just want it to be soft and subtle and just pretty so i bought new 
wall hangings and I bought new things for my shelf and I'm going to make an arrangement for the sink in the small let me show you this first because this is not going in the powder room I have a couple things that are not going in the powder room like this I did order this from Amazon I have been searching and searching and searching for these and I knew that I had purchased one from Amazon last fall and it matches perfectly with the other vase like this that I'm going to put my orange and blue or orange and white or whatever I do on my mantle for fall. I know my other one is exactly like this. So I did get this. It was $20, but I did get this from Amazon and it's lovely. It's lovely. So I will be pulling this out with the other one. And that way, the two that I have up on the mantle right now that I did in the pretty wooden roses, I have a couple of shelves downstairs. They can sit out all perfectly made just like that through the year and I don't have to remake them. So that's why I wanted to go ahead and get another because I had three of these vases and I wanted to get another one to so I didn't have to take those two apart. So I got that and then I'll show you everything that's not going in the powder room first. <laughs> I did find some Christmas ribbon, some plaid Christmas ribbon that I thought was pretty. I do have a whole uh, ribbon idea list in my uh, in my Amazon store and I did find some pretty ribbon to link in there for you guys all wired all of all different seasons and you know so take a peek at that Amazon um, you know if you're interested in ribbon I always highly recommend Bobby at perpetualribbons.com uh, most definitely go to her first you know above anything but I did link some like my the black and white buffalo check that I always get the uh, it's it's pretty good it's not the best but for the amount you get and for the amount that i was using it it really was nice uh but i thought this was really pretty and this is like where's my glasses a lot of yardage two and a half inches by 50 yards 50 yards y'all that'll go far i mean this would be something to buy if you wanted like to 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 do bows big bows for your for your staircase, for instance, or something like that, or to make a big bow topper for your Christmas tree. Wouldn't that be pretty? So 50 yards of this I thought was really pretty. And if I don't use it for in my own house here, maybe I can make to give to like Christmas family or stuff like I did that one year. But that was a pretty good price and I really like that. And let's see here. Uh, I did buy some other things to go with this wreath. I may use these and then I may not. I'm not sure. But I bought these with the wreath in mind. I did not open them, so hang on. Here's one thing I got. I got four of these in one pack. And these are kind of plastic, so you could put these outside. Or these could, you know, go on my wreath to, you know, up against one another to make, you know, some pretty greenery, add some pretty greenery to the cotton, you know, and pull in some greenery to that wreath. But they came all in one big bundle, jumbled together. But look how big it, that's three of them there. And these were priced well, they really were. So very pretty, kind of a hanging fern look. So again, linked in the florals department, or in the florals box in my, in my, on my Amazon store. You know, and I'll, and I'll quit saying that, you guys, you know that everything that I'm showing here is, if it's from Amazon, it, it's linked. For sure. I told you I Okay, the next thing I bought were two of these little blue and green garlands. And I know I wanna use one up around the shelf in my powder room. And honest to goodness, I don't know what I'll do with the rest of them. Rest of it, I'm not sure. But I thought these were super pretty. And for a good price, you guys, off of Amazon. And good quality. They're good, really good quality. And then these next two things I purchased with the wreath in mind. And this is the way. This is, uh, I can't remember, 24 maybe, blue roses. You can see them? And then they come with the stems behind them. See that? So you can put the stems on the roses. They're lovely. I'm sorry. I'm blind. The they already come on the stems. Look at that. 
Some poinsettias that I got for Christmas last year came with the stems separate. The stems are in these. But that's how they came packaged. And they're in there all nice and neat. So these will go on my wreath. That's where these will go. I have these earmarked for my wreath, for sure. And I'm not gonna use all of these, so I may use some in the powder room too. Probably, that's probably what you'll see first. <laughs> so I thought these were super pretty. Next, I have these lovely calla lilies that I got, you know, that Candace got me for Christmas that I put in that box that she made me up on the Black Hutch. So I bought some more of those. I had Candace, I said, do you have that link for those? She says, I've got it, Mom, I've got it for you. <laughs> so she sent this to me, and this is probably a dozen, four, six, eight, ten, ten, two, four, six, eight, ten. Ten calla lilies. Aren't they pretty? So they'll go on the wreath and maybe in the powder room. I don't know. But definitely for the for the wreath. So that is all the florals that I got from Amazon. I really like looking through their florals, though, and, and everything I've gotten has been nice from there. So I've been pretty impressed with that. Next thing I got were these two little birds. Aren't they cute? Some One of you had mentioned these or had seen these. You saw these in my Amazon shop and asked me if they were the same as it's on the table, and they're not. This is what they look like. And aren't they cute? They're kind of a gray with a cream scrolly little bit of goodness on their wings and around the front. So I just thought these were super cute. So I think I'll put these up in the shelf, you know, and Let's see, let me show you this next. I got myself a willow tree figurine. I have a lot of willow tree figurines linked. Most of my willow tree figurines have been gifts from my kids and from friends and stuff. But I got this specifically to go in the powder room. I thought it was really pretty. She is called Happiness Free to Sing, Laugh, Dance, and Create. <laughs> but there's her little card. And I've not opened her yet, so hopefully she's in good shape. There she is. Isn't she pretty? Love her. So she will go on that black shelf in my powder room. I love her. So cute. I'm going to leave her out of the box here. I checked, I compared prices to you guys with the other Willow Tree, from the Willow Tree site, and the prices are comparable on Amazon. So just to let you know that. From what I could tell, they were comparable. Everyone I looked at was comparable. So I wouldn't have linked them if they weren't, you know. I don't, sometimes people can gouge, you know, and I would not want you guys to be gouged. So what, for the Willow Tree figurines that I checked, they were comparable in price so okay now let's go to uh the walls in there i bought this little picture and it's going to replace a, a picture that i have up over a candle um two wrought iron candle holders so I bought that with the birds, with the blue birds. I thought that was really pretty. I've got a gray rug in there right now. So, and of course the walls are grayish. So you can do gray or beige, you know. So I bought that. And then I'm gonna combine these with something else I'll show you. This came as a trio. And they're canvas. And then a bird. So I don't know that I'll use all three of these together or if I'll separate them or how I'll use them. I honestly don't know. But they were really nice. And what I'm going to pair with at least two of those is this. 
This is a metal scroll piece and it's kind of almost a bronzy gold look, but the middle is blue and white. It's, kind of, it's very subtly blue, but it is blue. So I thought this was really pretty. Again, I'll put prices up or check, the, or check my Amazon shop. So I'm going to make a specific list for my powder room so you guys can go into that specific list and you can see everything that I've linked in there from a powder room. So two more things for the powder room. And I just got this idea just from perusing around Amazon, to be honest with you, just poking around, looking for things that I could link for you guys. And I thought, this is so pretty. Now, as you know, we're getting company in August. And, you know, with COVID and everything else, all of my towels are super clean all the time. But I thought some people may not be comfortable with using a hand towel over and over again or I don't want to wash it every day or whatever. So I decided I would get myself some kind of paper napkins like this. And then I thought, well, I don't want them to just stay on the sink all by themselves. So I got myself a little holder. <laughs> Isn't that cute? And these fit whoops, right in there. And I, I'm, I need to order myself another pack. But aren't they nice? you know, and then you can change these out for the holidays, you know, keep this on the sink all the time, but you know, fall, Christmas, Easter, spring, summer, whatever, you know. So I love them. I love this little idea and they'll sit right on my sink. And so when they wash their hands, they can just pick up one of these and wash them, dry their hands and be done, you know? So I like, I really like that idea. I really like that idea to, to, you know, with everything else that we've had going on, I thought that would be, not that they are picky at all in any way, but you never know if somebody comes in and who might be a little bit uncomfortable, you know, I want them to always be comfortable and I want to provide things that will make them feel comfortable, you know? So I thought that was a nice idea, you know, just a, a courteous and nice idea just to have on the sink as an option. The towels will be there too, of course, if they, wanted, if they want to uh, use those, <laughs> but... But anyway, I got a surprise in the, in the mail, and I'll see if he minds if I link these. But Scott Singer, you know, I always talk about Scott Singer. And he said, Arlen, Arlen, I just want to let you know to be looking for something coming to, your, to you from Amazon. And I'm like, and he said, I didn't put a note in it or anything, but I just wanted to let you know. But he said, I just wanted to let you know it was coming. Now, you guys, this fella, he is 20. I didn't miss his birthday, 23 or 24. He's young. He's a young man. But his mama and daddy are wonderful people. And who, they remind me of how Chris and I have raised our daughters. They have raised their children the way we have raised our daughters, to be kind and courteous and thoughtful. Well, he put in so much thought about these gifts. And I just sat and sobbed. Of course I did, you know, when I opened them. But check these out. Check these out. Grandmother's journal, memories and keepsakes for my grandchild. And I'm going to have this at Candace's when I'm there helping her and I'm gonna be filling mine out there. But it is like a baby book for grandma, you know, and it, it gives you, you know, places to Put not your only your information but your parent like not only my information but my parents information and their parents information it gives like a family tree for little maverick and you know it just it gives you tons of space to journal i'm a blogger you know b-l-o-g-g-e-r that's how i started into my social media world here as a blogger and y'all uh you know about my parents just give you a couple examples here of this page. My parents or your great, like Maverick's great grandparents were named this and that. And my mother was born in, my father was born in, how my parents met, my parents are in their living by, things they like to do together, words I would use to describe my mother, <laughs> words to describe my father. You know, how sweet is this? My mother's education, my father's education, my mother's interest, traits I got from my mother, you know. 
about my grandparents, Maverick's great-grandparents, just about my home, my childhood home, my childhood home, uh, where I lived when I was a little girl, what I remember about my family home, my room was, I would describe our neighborhood. I mean, what a treasure this will be. And I am going to take the time to fill this out for little Maverick. What a blessing and what a little treasure it will be for him. What a gift, huh, Scott? Scott, thank you so much, honey. Thank you. I love you so much, honey. So he gave me one and then he gave one to Chris for Chris to fill out. And Chris said, I gotta fill that out. I said, yes, you do. <laughs> and he will, he'll fill it out. But how wonderful, you know, for both of us. What a gift to give to Maverick to put in, you know, whatever his mama gives him in a hope chest or whatever, you know, when he gets married or here, you know, or after I'm gone, he can, she can give it to him and say, here, your grandma wrote this out all through, you know, however many years of your life. And you know what I mean? What a treasure. What a treasure. I wish that my grandma had given me something like this. Oh, my goodness. So... Uh, I just thought that was just such a special, special gift. So thank you so much, Scott. Thank you so, so much, buddy. I appreciate them, and so does Chris, and we thank you so much. I'm so touched. I mean, he, he's so thoughtful. He reminds me of my kids. He really, I deep down him, I said, you could, your mama wouldn't want me to say this, but you could be my third kid, <laughs> you know? He's an awesome, awesome young man. All right, so I guess... That's it for this one, you guys. Oh my goodness, I had a lot though. I had a lot, I had a lot to explain to you. So I hope, you know, I, I try not to bring hauls just willy nilly bringing you hauls. I like to try to give you an idea of what I'm gonna be doing with most of this stuff. I have it earmarked for something, most everything, you know. So uh, you all probably are gonna have to wait for the wreath though. I will say that that'll probably be, uh, other than me showing you pictures and whatnot, going along you know the powder room will be thursday this this is tuesday the powder room will be thursday and then after that i really am this time i really am you guys taking a couple of weeks off you know if i can come back at all it'll be just a quick little little video you know to show you some pictures or whatever but basically i'm going to be a busy grandma and mama and helping my family so but anyway i guess that's it i hope y'all are doing okay i hope this a uh, little haul video, find you doing well. Uh, yes, I did venture in very quickly to Hobby Lobby, but the rest of the stuff is is obviously uh, purchased online. And I ran into Hobby Lobby very quickly just for the white accents, you know, and then I came across this little guy. <laughs> but check the description, please, for any links that you see. If you don't see links, that means I don't have one for you. And, uh, you know, I might put up, you know, I might have put up, hopefully I did, my Amazon haul. You know, maybe before each, each uh, different haul, I will have, I thought about, I should do that, you know, in my videos and should put, well, this, all of these are from this. And until you see, because I know a lot of people speed through videos, oh, I'm not interested in Craft Outlet or I'm not interested in this. And then they might have trouble finding where the Amazon starts or, you know what I mean? So maybe I'll try to do a little better with my editing as far as that and say, put it up, you know, and say, this is my whatever. Y'all will know if I did that because now I'm talking about it and talking my way through my editing <laughs> that you guys probably could care less about. I am yammering. Oh my word. <laughs> anyway, all right, I'm going to shut this one down. So let me just say again, thank you so much for stopping in here to see what I'm up to. I hope that all is well with everyone. And for those of you who are struggling or suffering with a catastrophic illness or chronic pain, I hope that you have someone there with you, taking care of you, helping you get through each day, making the very, very best out of each day. I hope there's nothing weighing on your minds or your hearts, pulling your attention away from where you want it to be or from where it should be. I love y'all to bits, to bits, to bits, hugs all around. And I keep you in my thoughts and my prayers every single day. And with all that said, I'll just say, until next time, y'all take good, good care. Bye-bye. <laughs>